Hello everyone, my name is Rani Agogo and I am a psychic medium, an initiated priestess, um, a walker of both worlds, a manifester of divine miracles. <laughs> okay, this is fucking, okay. Um, yeah, actually, so yeah, basically I am a, I just put my leg up, I don't know if that's going to show, but whatever. Basically, I'm, I'm a medium and I, and I work with spirit. I'm a, I guess you could say I'm a magician. I work with the elements. I work with my ancestors, spirit guides, spirit team, whatever you want to call them. So I basically wanted to start teaching y'all how to work your own magic. The goal of these magical classes is to help you shift your energetic alignment to help you spiritually reach your highest and greatest good to better work your magic and to better help you manifest what you want in life so working your own personal magic is a pretty gradual process it takes time and dedication um, but it's totally doable and i just want to help you through the process by teaching all these little classes, giving you some guided meditations and little homework so that you can learn how to work with energies a lot more efficiently. I believe everyone has their own spiritual gifts and I'm going to be here to help guide you on a path to find those gifts and nourish those gifts so you can work your magic and have fun with it. So I'm really excited to get y'all into this magic shit. Here are some of the practices that I'll be introducing you to. The art of magic ritual and how to make it your own. I'll be showing you how to cast a circle, call on the seven directions. I'm going to show you how to build and create your own altar and sacred space. I'm also going to show you how to do a lot of fun little magical crafts. I'm going to show you how to spiritually cleanse your home of all the bullshit, the goobies, the ghosts, the depression, anxiety. All that shit has an energy and I'm going to help you learn how to get rid of that shit. I'll also be teaching you magical and practical ways to raise your vibration so you can hone in on your spiritual gifts while also alleviating pain, anxiety, and depression. Trust me, when you start working with the spirit realm, anything is possible. That's good. I feel good. I feel like my, my, my head's a buzzing. My head's a buzzing. I'll also show you how to work with plants on a spiritual and magical level and practical, actually. Plants are our homies. They're our, our allies. Every plant has an energy and a spirit. So I'm going to show you how to connect with those energies so you can really work your magic. I'm also going to get into the importance of sound and frequency for healing and attuning your vibration to the the field, the field like the field of the universe. It's, it's like a really sweet place and sound, music and vibration is very important when it comes to all of that. We'll also be getting into connecting and healing our relationships with our higher self spirit team, spirit guides, our ancestors, you know, like basically our spirit fam. They're like super important when you start working your own magic because they are there to guide you. They are there to help magical shit happen for you in the background. Trust me, you're going to really start valuing working with your higher self and your spirit team. I'm really excited to help introduce you to your spirit team um, if you're not already connected. But if you are already connected, you know, this is this is going to be a nice way to help you learn a little bit more on how to heal them and work with them um, to help you on your magical path. Is that okay? Like the magical path. <laughs> I'll be showing you some practical breathing exercises to help you with stress, anxiety, help you expand parts of your field so you could better work with the field of the miracles and magic. Throughout the courses, we're going to be touching on different healing modalities. They're going to be energetic and spiritual healing modalities that you can work for yourself or for others. I'm also gonna help you get connected with your own patron deities, ascended masters in the, you know, like the universal field. At any point in your life, you're going to find that you might resonate with different deities on your path, depending on 
you know where you are spiritually where you are mentally there are so many different deities and masters that you can work with as your teacher they are super valuable they help you <laughs> like i get emotional thinking about it because man once i started connecting to the different deities that I work with now, my life completely changed. And I really want to help you make those connections because that is like, that's the good good. That's that's that spiritual peanut butter. I don't, I don't know, peanut butter. <laughs> I mean, if you like peanut butter, I, uh, yeah. I mean, hopefully you're not allergic to peanuts, but if you are, it's your spiritual pudding. I'm gonna be show you. I'm gonna be show you. I'm gonna be show you soy sauce. <laughs> I'm also gonna be showing you how to vibe with your crystal allies. You know, crystals are pretty fucking magical, and if once you start learning how to attune to their energies, you will be, you know, you'll be having a cool team of like straight up rocks and crystals that are like. Hey, you're depressed? Here, I got that. I got you. If you're like, you're fucking anxious, there's like these really like cool other stones that are like, hey, don't worry, man. I'm like, I will soothe your soul. So basically, throughout the courses, I'm gonna have like different chapters. And for each chapter, I'm going to show you what crystals you can work with to help supplement the work that we're doing. I'm also really excited to show you um, different like recipes and elixirs that you can make to help raise your vibration and attune your energies, you know, like strengthen your intuition. I'm a fucking foodie, I love cooking, and I got some really great recipes for you to help you clean out your body and attune your shit. I'm also going to help you learn how to properly ground your energy. This is going to be really important because if your energy is not grounded, then your magic is kind of gonna be shit because energy without grounding is kind of useless. So I want to help you ground your energies, get you attuned with mother earth so you can really start manifesting that good shit in your life. <coughs> Excuse me, Excuse me. Um, We'll also be getting into the chakras, the seven main energy centers. Um, they're actually really important to help you uh, guide your intentions, um, to heal yourself, help you connect with healthy flow. We're gonna work with a different chakra every, every chapter, so get ready for it. I'm also going to help you activate your third eye, which is part of the chakras, but a lot of people seem to be really fucking interested in that thing. Um, I'll tell you, third eye isn't gonna be that useful for you if you don't get all your other shit aligned. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna hit all the energy centers so we get you good and tight with that field. I keep saying the field, but it's, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's magical. And that's the place that you wanna be when you start working your magic. I think that they call the field, the force in Star Wars. I'm not necessarily sure because I don't really watch Star Wars, forgive me. But yeah, the field is the force. May it be with you after we take these classes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also gonna be showing you how to work with your clear gifts, your intuitive gifts. Everyone has their own gifts. There's clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, clairaudience, which is clear hearing. Um, there's clairgustinance, where you like taste spiritual shit, which is kind of fucking weird. Um, there's clairsentience, which is feeling. Shout out to all you empaths. We'll get you, you know, using that to your ability as opposed to a disability, which is what people tend to, um, it's the way they kind of treat empaths. I'm an empath and I'm fucking powerful. I'm here to help you get powerful too. Um, where was I? <laughs> um, oh yeah, Claire Gift. There's also uh, Claire Cognizance, which is a clear knowing. So we're gonna like learn about these gifts on a 
more um, deep level and I'll show you different ways to help um, nourish these gifts and strengthen these gifts like you know like working out any muscle it takes time it takes practice but it's totally doable we're going to be getting into divination and finding the right tools for you you know a lot of people are really into tarot um, I throw bones and I use oracle cards different oracle cards I also, um, I mean, when you really boil it all fucking down, you can look into a cup of coffee and see a world of fucking messages. But it, uh, what I'm going to show you is how to strengthen your own discernment so you're not thinking everything's a, a fucking sign. Because that's when you, that's crazy town. So we're going to get into divination and, you know, helping it work for you. We're also going to be getting into healing and expanding your heart. This is going to be really important to help you start manifesting your dreams into reality. When you start healing your heart and clearing out all the fucking barnacles that life has thrown on them, you're going to start tapping into a divine field of miracles that is amazing. It's great. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. I think your hearts are very excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be getting into living in clean relations. <laughs> clean relations. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. Um, we're going to be getting into clean relationships as you start working your spiritual practice. Now there's a siren. Oh, there's a siren. There's airplanes. Damn it. In our final magical chapter of these courses, I'm going to help you tap into a divine field of miracles, miracle consciousness, the field that I keep talking about. I'm going to show you how to really work with that field without fear, without uh, restrictions. As long as your heart and your mind are aligned, I believe that you can tap into this field too. And it's um, a very powerful healing field where magic is born. You learn how to manifest your dreams, you know, all that stuff. If you've been guided to take these classes, then once you tap into that field of miracles, you're going to feel very comfortable. You're going to feel like it's the place where you came from. And it's just a field of divine love and understanding. So I'm really excited to help you find that place so you can start living your your highest living your living your life to your highest good being the badass magical magician practitioner witch whatever you want to call yourself it all stems from that divine miracle field so i'm really excited to help you get there for this magical course there's going to be seven chapters at the beginning of each chapter there's going to be a video where I introduce the course material and get you activated with a activation journey to set the tone for the coursework. These, these guided activation journeys are basically like meditations. So after I teach you a little bit of stuff, we're gonna get into helping you connect spiritually to the course material. Throughout each chapter, there's also going to be videos on magical crafts, um, fucking, fucking things that I can't remember. Love those. Throughout each chapter, I'm also going to be sprinkling in some videos that are going to help you with um, your craft. So I'll be throwing in some magical craft videos, some videos on how to make some specific recipes. I'll be having videos on um, performing magic ritual and the protocols of magic ritual. I'll also, and I really like this part because like I'm not necessarily a great like note taker. I'm more of like a, you know, like a listener and I like to absorb the energies of what I'm learning. I'm going to be including these uh, free PDFs of the course material. So I want you to be able to just relax and listen and absorb the material and not worry because, uh, don't worry about taking notes because they're going to be there. I'm going to have it. It's like the notes might be even more extensive than what I'm ta talking about. So 
I'm, I've been writing it all out and I'm really excited to just have that available for you as a supplement to the coursework so you don't get lost. So at the end of each chapter, I'm also going to be doing a fun live. So this is where we're gonna be able to connect um, during this live you know, I'll just follow up with you. I'll answer whatever questions you might have. And then I'm going to do um, a fun, you know, guided meditation slash journey um, just to honor and solidify where you are in the course. I like keep hearing that they're going to be keys. I don't know yet. This, I, this, this whole thing has been spirit guided, but get ready for that. These are going to be fun um, initiations throughout the courses to help solidify what you've been putting into for your magical practice. I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me. You know, this is just a brief overview of all the course work that we're going to be getting into throughout these seven chapters. Um, I'm really excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So be ready. I'm going to be putting out the first chapter, which is going to cover the, the, bleh. It's going to cover the bleh. It's going to cover the basics of magic, opening a circle. Um, we're going to dedicate a book of shadows or sacred journal for the work. I'm going to get you into healthy habits and all that good shit. Uh, is there anything else I'm missing? Yeah. The, the whole, creating an altar, all the basics, basic magical protocol. We're going to be covering that in the first chapter. So I'm really excited for you to join me. Thank you and I will uh, see you later. I don't know why I did that. I don't, just cut that out. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.